Welcome to Divakar Physics. In this video, we will discuss about some uh, MCQs from chapter number 1 ICC. So, we will discuss uh, more than 20 questions in this video. So, you can follow. So, question number 1 is a body pivoted at a point can have linear motion, rotational motion, circular motion or none of the above. So, a body pivoted at a point okay when force is applied then it will have rotational motion okay so second answer is correct because it is pivoted at a point second the turning effect of a force on a body does not depend on force size of the body perpendicular distance of the force from the axis of rotation none of the above so it does not depend on the size of the body okay actually it depends on force and perpendicular distance okay so that you can follow the next question is a psi unit of moment of force is kgf centimeter newton meter newton centimeter diameter so newton meter is the SI unit because the formula is force into torque is equal to force into distance. So, Newton meter SI unit. Okay. So, that way we can follow. Question number 4. The anticlockwise moment is taken as positive moment. Okay. So, true or false. So, anticlockwise moment when the body rotates in anticlockwise direction, then it is taken as positive. Clockwise moment negative, so it is true. So, anticlockwise uh, moment is positive moment, and uh, clockwise moment is negative moment. So, that way you can follow. Okay, question number five to open or shut a door, we apply force at the largest distance okay to have maximum torque minimum torque zero torque and none of the above okay so torque is equal to force into distance so when we increase the distance when we apply the force at the largest distance possible then torque will be maximum with the given force so answer a is correct Next, we will see question number 6. 1 Newton meter is equal to 10 to the power 7 dyne meter, 10 to the power 7 dyne centimeter, 10 to the power 7 dyne per centimeter, and none of the above. So, answer is 10 to the power 7 dyne centimeter. So, this is the CGS unit of force, uh, sorry, moment of force, and it is related with the SI unit. So, 1 Newton, 1 Newton meter equals to 10 to the power 7 dyne centimeter. Okay. So, this you can remember the relation. Number, so B is correct. Number 7, a spanner has long handle to have minimum uh, force applied, maximum force applied, minimum torque and none of the above. So, we maintain the long handle. So, we use long handle so that we can apply minimum force. Okay. So, this perpendicular distance is more than least force can be applied for the given torque. So, answer is it has long handle to have minimum force applied. So, number A is correct. Okay. Okay, question number 8, net force on a couple is, so net force on a couple, so couple has to equal and opposite force forces acting in opposite direction, uh, but different line of action, okay. So, so this is F and F, so forces are equal and opposite, so net force will be 0. 
because the forces are forces are equal and opposite so net force is zero but as they are acting the different uh, lines their line of action is different so they produce the rotational effect okay number nine moment of couple increases when couple arm is increased so this is the moment of uh, couple so moment of couple is equal to either force into perpendicular distance between them okay moment of couple force into distance either force into perpendicular distance so this is the couple arm the perpendicular distance between two forces so in this distance increases then moment of couple increases so answer is true okay next question number 10 acceleration of a body in equilibrium is maximum minimum zero none of the above so during equilibrium so net force is zero so during equilibrium some total uh, force is zero so as there is no force then there will be no acceleration okay and body moves with a constant velocity or it remains at rest when net force is zero so there is no acceleration there is no change in the speed even in dynamic equilibrium there is no change in the speed so acceleration is zero number 11 <coughs> A book lying on a table is in which equilibrium, static equilibrium, unstable equilibrium and none of the above. So it can be dynamic equilibrium also, option can be dynamic equilibrium also. So what is the answer? So book lying on the table, so two forces act, normal reaction and normal reaction and weight but net force is zero and the body is at rest when net force is zero and the body is at rest then it is in static equilibrium so first answer is correct number 12 an aeroplane moving at a constant height with a constant speed is in which equilibrium static or dynamic so actually the aeroplane is moving okay with constant height and speed so it is in dynamic equilibrium so answer b is correct so when net force is zero but body is still in motion then that is called dynamic equilibrium okay number 13 a physical balance works on Number one, principle of conservation of energy, principle of moments, and principle of calorimetry. None of the above. So, physical balance works on principle of moments. So, this is one of the application of principle of moments. This is one of the applications of principle of moments. So, answer is B. The question number 14 is the moment of force is a vector quantity true or false so the torque or the moment of force is a vector quantity so this is true now here diagram is given so you have to find the net moment on the scale okay so here force is given 5 into so what is the moment produced by this 5 Newton force force into perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation this is the axis of rotation it is pivoted here so 5 into 2 so 10 Newton meter okay 
so this produces anti clockwise moment like this you see if we apply force like this then it will produce anti clockwise moment so it will give plus and this force 3 newton into 4 force into distance so 12 but but this is producing clockwise moment so the body rotates in the clockwise direction then the moment is negative the net moment is minus 2 newton meter so minus 2 newton meter so answer is first one okay so you have to consider the signs when you combine the moments and this minus 2 newton meter means the body finally will rotate in the clockwise direction okay final moment is negative so overall rotation is minus 2 newton meter okay so this you can find number 16 the position of center of gravity of a body can be outside the uh, outside the body outside the material of the body the answer is uh, true so you can remember hollow sphere example okay circular ring so these are the examples so examples may be asked okay based on this the position of center of gravity of a body uh, can be changed if the body is deformed okay so if the body shape is changed then center of gravity also changes true or false so this is true for example if you take a rod then center of gravity is here at the center but if you convert this into a ring okay like this you change this if you bend it into the form of circle or ring then center of gravity comes here so it is here actually from here it is shifted to center so when you deform the body then position of center of gravity changes and wherever uh, more mass is present there is the center of gravity okay so answer is true number 18 the center of gravity of a hollow cone of height h is at a distance x from its vertex where value of x is 2h by 3 h by 3 3h by 4 or h by 4 okay so actually uh, the cone okay the center of gravity of a hollow cone is at the height s y 3 so if you take uh, from the base s by 3 then you will get center of gravity here okay this is the center of gravity from the base if h is the height here also it is given h is the height then it will be h by 3 from the base so from the base also you have to remember don't just remember h by 3 hmm? but they have given x is the distance from the vertex to the center of gravity so this is x then how much will be x so x will be h minus h by 3 so 3h minus h by 3 so 2h by 3 so is the option 2h by 3 so first option is correct So when you see hollow cone, don't simply mark as by 3. Read the question properly. Okay. You have to read the question and accordingly you do. Okay. Let us go to next question. Number 19. A force which is uh, responsible for maintaining 
a circular motion is called so which force maintains circular motion centrifugal force centripetal force frictional force none of the above so answer is centripetal force the centripetal force is the force which is responsible for maintaining the circular motion in the body okay question number 20 earth moves around the sun with the uniform velocity so earth moves around the sun in uh, roughly circular orbit and in the circular orbit uh, the circular motion velocity is not uniform okay speed is same but velocity is velocity changes due to the change in the direction so that's why uh, answer is false so because uniform velocity velocity is not uniform if you, if it is uniform speed then true uniform velocity false next question number uh, 21 in a circular motion acceleration remains constant so this is also false so due to centripetal force acceleration is caused and it is always towards the center so as the body moves the direction of acceleration also changes so you can see acceleration is variable because acceleration is a vector quantity 22 a, bod a body that moves with a constant speed can never have acceleration okay a body that moves with constant speed can never have acceleration so but it it can have like circular motion body moves with constant speed but it has a variable velocity due to which acceleration is caused but here can never have so answer is false it can have in circular motion okay so this way you can revise the chapter and prepare for the upcoming board exam thank you for watching my video